Today in the Daily Dose, Robert Watson Watt. Born in 1892 Brecon, Scotland, Robert Watson Watt, a distant relative of James Watt, the inventor of the steam engine, became fascinated by radio waves while studying at the University College Dundee before joining the Royal Aircraft Factory as a meteorologist in 1915, where he focused on using lightning-generated radio signals to locate thunderstorms, which proved to be the first early warning system for aviators attempting to fly around dangerous weather. Lacking any method for recording and displaying his signals, in 1916, Watt proposed the use of a cathode ray oscilloscope which became commercially available in 1923, allowing pilots and meteorologists to accurately pinpoint storms from several hundred miles away. After furthering his investigations at the Radio Research Station in Slough, Scotland, in 1933, Watt was named superintendent of the National Physics Laboratory, promoted yet again a year later to head the newly formed radio division at Teddington where he learned about the Nazis' attempts to develop a death ray weapon capable of destroying entire towns and cities from the air. It was the most fabulously exciting and fascinating kind of occupation. And uh, we lived and breathed and almost slept and certainly talked uh, constantly about uh, the possibilities. With rising warfare sweeping through British government, the Tizard Committee and Commodore Hugh Dowding in particular asked Watt to develop a radio detection and ranging system, codenamed Chain Home, giving Watt and his small team of researchers five years to build a radar defense system along the eastern and southern coasts of Great Britain, capable of detecting enemy aircraft 50 miles off the English coastline. After testing his concept, using shortwave radio deflection against a Handley Page Hayford bomber, Watt and Company delivered a fully functional chain home defense system by the end of 1938, in just seven months' time, mere months before the outbreak of World War II in 1939. During the war, Watt's home chain defense system proved instrumental in the defense of England during the nation's 1940 victory in the Battle of Britain while proving indispensable in ending the German Blitz of 1941. Knighted in 1942, Watt grew despondent over his perceived lack of acknowledgement for his achievements, moving to Canada in the early 1960s, where he was pulled over for speeding during a visit to the United States, informing the radar-yielding police officer that had I known what you were going to do with it, I would never have invented it. Returning home to Scotland in the late 1960s, he passed away on December 5, 1973, making the life and contributions of Sir Robert Watson Watt a vital stepping stone behind the technological advancements of the mid-20th century. And there you have it, Robert Watson Watt, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, Share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.